Happy Thursday, everyone. You have a stingray under you. <laughs> no, I don't. Stingrays, no, I don't like them. They can go over there hunting fish. So we're gonna go to Stingray City Sandbar. I'm just gonna be here recording. No. I'm not gonna touch that guy. Let's touch him with him. Nope. Nope, nope, We're nope. gonna let him hug you. Nope. And get nope. on your back. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Stay tuned. Nope. Stay tuned for that YouTube. Nope, <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Not happening. Alright guys, let's go for another test ride in the checkmate. I changed the alternator. I took off the dorsal fin. I'm running the 24 chopper. I took off the rear seats just so I can reduce some weight. And she's bare haul right now. I've always wanted a baseline of how fast she is. Just bare haul. Let me start the boat first, babe, and then we can take off. Legit now. Now we don't have to trim up so much. I think we're gonna be okay today. I don't see no white caps. That's a good thing. All this is shallow, but usually when it's a really windy day, you'll start seeing the white caps from here. Alright guys, we finally made it to the end of the channel. I'm not sure if I mentioned this already. I'm running the 24 chopper. I took out the hydrofoil and my jack plate is working. I put brand new spark plugs and the injectors are cleaned. We should be good to go 70 miles an hour today. It's flat water. We're about to get to the sign or resume normal safety operations. This is the first time I use this hydraulic jack plate. So I'm still gonna be testing out. Right now I have it on the high position to lower it down. A little bit, like something like that, and let's go. Get it. Oh. That's what I hate about the chopper. The chopper prop. The good thing is I brought my other propellers too, plus my tool, so I'm not worried about it, but. Let's see if maybe we raise up the, the jack plate a little bit. Because the chopper is a surfacing prop, so maybe she has better grip on top. Raise it up and then lower it down. Let's see what she does now. Turn it side to side.
guys enjoyed that ride make sure to drop a like if you did subscribe if you're not already subscribed we just made it here to Elliot Key Sandbar I haven't been out here since I was a little kid but it's a beautiful day to come out in the checkmate it's the checkmate's first time here at the sandbar so that's an accomplishment we're all gonna experience this together guys make sure to drop a like if you like this video Happy Thursday, everyone. It's for Memorial Day weekend, so this sandbar is gonna be packed starting tomorrow all the way to Monday. We might be going to Key West this weekend, so stay tuned for that. But look how clear and how pretty this water is. Look how pretty she looks, guys. Even though she's bare haul, no rub rails, no back seat. I took off the rub rails because I had to fix a few things. I didn't like how it came out the first time. It was kind of up and down. So as I took it off, I'm like, you know what? Let's go for a, a bear haul. See how fast it is. But obviously, you already know how the saying goes. There's always something. Now, it's surging at higher PMs. She still got us here. And I'm very, and I'm very confident she's going to get us back. But I'm going to take this 24 chopper off. And I'm gonna put on the 24 Fury just to get up on plane a lot faster and make it back home. But look at this water, guys. It's freaking amazing. <sighs> So I know guys, there's two things I'm doing wrong here. Two things, bring the camera over here. Two things. One being, I don't have the little pin to hold the lock nut, so it's possible that we're gonna lose our propeller. As we're going very, very fast, we're gonna lose our propeller because we didn't bring that little lock. It's very possible. Another thing that I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, you should have done this, you should have done that. Is you gotta torque your propeller because doing it the way I'm doing it is the wrong way. But this is the way I've always done it. It's always worked. I haven't had any issues yet. So, and it's the easiest way. I wouldn't want to bring a very expensive torque wrench out of the water. I know I'm not the only guy who does this. Right, well, it's nope. It's a good looking boat though.
almost hit a ground. <laughs> I saw that ground coming, I'm like, no, trim up, trim up, Jack, play it up. And then overheat a little bit, but we're good now.